All right, here we go. You got the shield up, right? I got shields up. Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> oh! What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. An archery flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rep Pack, because you bought it. Just my nipples and all those. I'm real here now. <laughs> so today, guys, what we're going to be using, I'm very excited, as you guys can tell. And I'm also very energetic, you can tell. If you watched the last video, I was exhausted. Today, I am rested. And energetic. And young. Young and rest. Not restless. <laughs> the reason why I'm so excited today is because today, we're going to be using the air bow. And if you're new here, here's an example of the air bow. <laughs> One. Okay, so let me go grab the air bow. I usually call him Yandu Susano, but I've been starting to think about it. After today and some of the add-ons, I'm definitely gonna have to say we have to change the name or something else. So what if it's not just Yandu Susano, it's like Yandu and, and Hawkeye and Taskmaster. Who else, who else shoots arrows? A green arrow. Green arrow and red arrow. A lot of people with colored arrows, but yes, red arrow. All of those people I just named Susano. Yes! <laughs> and Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell, when I, that part happens, just kind of make a that is what this thing is right here, Rep Pack. This thing is the world's most powerful arrow launcher. But what we're going to be doing today is taking the world's most powerful arrow launcher and making it more powerful. It's like the galaxy's most powerful arrow launcher. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> this thing, if I aim it at the right place, I can shoot out Uranus. What? I don't... Oh, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to get that anus. All right? There's a bludgeon tip in there somewhere, I bet. You know, there's five other people out there who say the same thing. <laughs> Like with five fingers too. <laughs> but what we're gonna be doing, guys, is strapping a bunch of ridiculous broadheads on here. Because in this box right here, this tiny little box. If you're new here, usually I have like a big crate here, a huge box, and you know, not usually it's a little box. Okay. Normally I compensate. Okay? I mean, hey, I mean, big things can come in small packages. Yeah, if that small package grows like five more inches. Maybe it's a grower, not a shower. Maybe it's a show someone else because I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> but this box is filled with a set of different broadheads that are gonna be strapped on the end of the air bows arrows. Typically, we would use the field tip oh, right. typically. typically yes, yeah, yes. Nice. typically we would use the freaking field tip this thing is not really anything special it's just made to be strong enough to get through the target but the air bow is so disgusting typically this is just this is more than enough but inside this box we're gonna pop it open and see what kind of weird broadheads we can strap on top just like this because all they do is twist on and see what kind of damage we can do the world's most powerful arrow shooter with the world's most powerful tips that's also yeah. what i do at chili's the world's most powerful tips <laughs> <laughs> a dollar yes my weight just love me, okay? A dollar. <laughs> You're just been all in place, 50 cents. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this thing open. Let's see what we can strap to this guy and what kind of damage it can cause. All right, so we got the air bow right there. Let's pop the first broadhead out and see what we're working with. Dog's butt. What, you don't like asses? I don't like dog's asses. That's a female dog. It's well, asses. I know it's a female dog. I'll smack the shit out of his ass. <laughs> All right, so let's see what the first broad is out of here. We got, what the hell? The rocket broadhead. This thing's called a meat seeker. Damn. Meat seeker. You know that's like heat seeking missile, like heat seeking? Except for it's, it aims for meat. It oh. hunts meat. It's like my ex. It just finds meat. So <laughs> okay, you know what? She, I didn't, didn't they tell you that my girl, my ex girlfriend worked at a deli, but. The, oh. <laughs> nah, she really did get a lot of meat, though. She was the meat seeker. <laughs> <laughs> we got the rocket meat seeker. The thing about these, though, guys, you notice they're usually these separating blades that we've had in the past, these rubber bands that stick on. To it, how it works is when it goes in the target, these open up. But look on the tip on that thing, dude. That thing is literally designed to deploy all of those blades deep into the target rather than the other one. Well, I do like them when they deploy deep. Oh, I like them when they de deploy at all. I just need help sometimes. <laughs> so, we're gonna go outside and try these things out. And we're also gonna shoot an impression so that way we can see all the different broad designs by the end of the video. But let's go out there and do it. All right, guys. So, we're trying out the meat seeker right here. <laughs> yeah, the first one I shot, I just I missed the target all, all the way around. It just started going around the neighborhood looking for meat. <laughs> Somebody said the Ralphs there's a break in. I don't know if it's related, but. All right, so we're gonna be testing the meat seeker right now. We're gonna be shooting Mexican sodas. You know what's different from Mexican sodas versus American? I guess some sort of racial thing. Put coke in them. <laughs> no, but this one's real sugar, with real sugar. Oh, they put Coca-Cola in them. You know nothing about Mexico burger. This is a Mexican <laughs> tradition. It even says it right here. Tradition, 
original, originated Mexicano. You don't even know how to read. Well, I can read it on this side. Original Mexican tradition. This is the first thing that Mexican people drink, Parker. It's the first thing. Yes. Out, out the womb. Yes. They don't even get water. It's the first thing they get is Mexican tradition. We got these three right here. We're gonna try and blast through all of them. See the injury wounds on the plastic very easily. I'm the meat seeker, and we're gonna see if it actually collaterals all the way through to the speed bag. But let's try it out. The first one here. This thing is pumped up to its maximum potential at 3,000 psi, which I actually think it works a little bit stronger when it's on its like full, full max pump up rather than on, like the low thousands, you know? I mean, you'd think that. You'd think that. Does it seem like it makes sense? But it does. All right, you think it's gonna lose its trajectory or you think it's gonna go through all four of them? I think it's gonna lose its trajectory if that many blades on it. Oh yeah, I mean, if it hits a blade and then it could easily kind of make it slide. Yeah. I think it's gonna, I don't know about going directly through all four, but I think it's gonna slash all four. All right, let's see what we got here. Check out the arrow tip, dude. You see how it's down? So when I shoot, that impact is gonna push this forward and boom. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> well, I can say that that works. Is this what you call a fiesta? <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> There's complete freaking X through it, dude. There's one over here, one over here, one over here from the targets. Same thing on this one. Same thing on that one. I'm assuming. Is there the same thing on that one? Oh, yeah. Same thing on that one. <laughs> and it's stuck in the target. Okay, so now that we know that it works, we're gonna shoot aluminum because it's really, really good at keeping the imprint of whatever the design is. So we're gonna shoot that right now so we have an imprint of what this arrowhead looks like. Then we're gonna move on to the next one and see what that one's capable of. And we're gonna move these tests up as we go, for sure. All right, so we're gonna shoot that container right there and this should leave a perfect imprint of this freaking broadhead so that way we move on to the next one we'll know what we're comparing it to three two one All right, but that is perfect. It is showing us exactly what the injury wound would look like. If something were to get hit by it, it would leave this big gaping triangle like in it. The Assassin's Creed would brand you. <laughs> and come out the other side as well. And into the target. That would have been like a three person collateral. All right, let's get back in this box. Let's get back in that doggy. Oh, it's his eye this time. Why is his eye the target? <laughs> Because you aim for the eye. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't know why he's at the target. It's kind of a bad marketing thing. But let's pull up the next item. This. Oh. Dude! <laughs> it's my oh, cold, cold steel. steel. I have seen these before. So these are cold steel actual broadheads. And why is that a big, a big deal if you're new to this channel? Cold steel is everything. There's a picture of Lynn in the back. There's Lynn right there with something dead that I can't show you. But my thumb's covering it. So right now it looks like Lynn killed my thumb. Look at these battle scars. I was taken down by Lim Thompson himself. All I can do is just wiggle. <laughs> these things are incredible because if you look right here, these are all made out of a high-tech polymer. By high-tech polymer, they mean cold steel polymer. They own all their products. They own almost everything they use to make their products. These are made out of a high-quality polymer, which is basically plastic. Interesting. Okay. Right? Wait, but if it's cold steel, it's like their products, they last a long time. Yes. Cold steel is made for making heavy, well, steel. But the fact that they're plastic is because these are called the cheap shot. They'd be basically your all-around 125 grain shot, but claims are they're just as strong as metal. So, I've been proven wrong by cold steel before. Let's go outside and see how a plastic broadhead is gonna compare to a regular one and also be doing some significant damages on it to see if we can break that arrowhead because something that claims to be unbreakable on this channel it's a fishing, all right? It doesn't break, there's a whole video you coming, you know? All right? Maybe, maybe you should check it real quick. It's Damn. still not broken. God damn it, Lynn Thompson. You beat me again. <laughs> Let's go outside and see if I can beat him this time. Dude, this thing is literally made out of plastic. <laughs> it's, it's just hard to believe. Dude, you can see like a D, like a little imprint. Like one on it. This is like something you can get for a 50 cent, like, you know, those little coin things that come out. Okay, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that plastic. This looks like um, a freaking swap meat. Uh, you freaking uh, traditional Amer Native American arrowhead. <laughs> It is made out of plastic. We are gonna be putting this plastic up to the maximum test, and even if it's a target, it probably shouldn't be done. But we're gonna try it anyway because I don't believe that this could be as powerful as, well, steel. Okay, so we're trying it anyway. Here's our target, all right? Okay, I don't know about this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about sick. I don't know either. It's plastic versus plastic. These things are not the easiest to get through, and they also throw off the trajectory like crazy. So this is the perfect target to see. Is it as good? Because steel will be able to go through this and maintain its direction. I don't know if plastic's gonna be able to do that. Also, I feel like this is gonna get dull the second it hits this one, and then the rest are like a dull hit, a dull drag. Or it could just be going so fast that it doesn't doesn't even matter. We'll find out. So right now we're gonna try this. If it can do this, I am actually gonna shoot this thing straight into a cinder block. <laughs> wow, that, what, a, what a jump. <laughs> yes, because I wanna see then, can we break this? That is what real question is here. Can I break this? All right, here we go. I have no clue how to expect this to work, but three, two, one, cold steel. 
Oh! I told you impossible! <laughs> it broke! Where did the it? arrowhead's gone! Where'd it break? Dude! The arrowhead broke! I told you there's no way that plastic was gonna be able to do that! Oh, I am drenched. <laughs> Man, I smell like watermelon. As I expected, this thing is not able to get through it. But just for fun, we're gonna do one more shot and see if this thing were to go through. Kind of a ridiculous task. Let's see if we're gonna move through a solid target. Could the plastic do the job? At least do the job. Pick up the target down. So let's try it out and see if plastic can actually have enough impact to break through this and finish off the target. If it breaks though, I gotta say I'm a little disappointed in Lynn. I mean if it breaks. If it breaks, if it breaks, if it yeah. breaks through this cold drink. Y yes, cold drink. Right there. If you didn't know what you wanted, right there, cold drink. And if you didn't know what it was, it's quality. <laughs> cold drinks, get ready to meet cold steel. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go analyze what just happened. Uh, bro. There we go. That's why I'm saying plastic arrowheads don't work. It cracked it. It hit the front so hard. But like I said, it's plastic, so it couldn't get through it. See that little scrape? Yeah. It scraped it, but the impact still was so hard that it burst it open the back. What's your overall opinion on it then? My overall opinion is I'll give it like a 6 out of 10 if it's, you're using it one time only. But we have another Cold Steel product that's coming up that hopefully could so give me a, leave me with a better taste in my mouth for Cold Steel. Okay, I already know. I just got to clean this up. <laughs> what? If you want an instant fire catcher. <laughs> Alright, so we tested it out. And now let's see the impression on this thing. Let's do it. Three, two, one. That thing flopped down. <laughs> that was sick. Oh, it went through. Oh, yeah, it went through like nothing, but it also wasted an arrow for no reason. What I will say, though, is it did enter the target on both sides. That's our entry wound right there. So that is what we have to compare with on the next target as well. Let's do it. You know, if, if, if uh, Lynn Thompson went like skinny dipping, you'd call him Skin Thompson. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, he'd be swimming, so he'd be Swim Thompson. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, let's pop it out. But think the world. Let's just take a moment. Silence for Lynn Thompson. The Don't disrespect the mother. Okay, all right. I didn't. I wasn't intentional. You choke if you have to. The okay. We're like the topic at the moment of peace. All right. He didn't die. <laughs> He's just a great man. All right. That's all. That's all to it. So, Lynn Thompson, thank you for existing and thank you for making all the great things that you make. But yeah, let's. If you ever want to reach out to the channel, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be amazing. But let's see what the next one is. All right. So these ones didn't come in a package. So I actually know which one these ones are. They came in a package clearly, but they didn't come in their own packaging. <laughs> so right here, these things, guys, are called the Skull Shatterers. Not Skull Crusher. Not Skull Breaker. Skull Shatterer. I don't know how, but apparently it's supposed to be a hundred. 150 grain, all compressed into like a pyramid-like tip that is made for breaking and shattering things. Very particular things, clearly, but it's also just about anything. So let's pull them out. Let's see what they look like. All right, let's pull them out of here. Oh my God. Can you imagine the wound? Check that tip out. Okay, guys, so the, the big deal here is typically when you have blades on these broadheads, they're pretty thin blades that can come off, you know, with the right impact, hits the right kind of bone, it's gonna break. This one right here is the Pyramid Skull Shatterer. So we're gonna go outside and give this thing a test. What I wanna do though is actually, remember that video where I shot the, the cinder block with the air bow and it just made like a hole in it? Yeah. That was sick! I mean, I wanted to break, but because of the way that the arrow worked, it just kind of made a hole and it hole punched it. But what if with the skull shatterer, maybe they could actually break it? Maybe. I mean, maybe, you know, at least like 95 of those grains can, you know, do it. Some of it. All right, let's go outside and see if the skull shatterer can shatter anything else. All right, so now we're going to try out the skull shatterer. Let's check this thing out and let's see. We're going to try and see if it can shatter for real. We got three skulls right there to see if it can crush. And if it can get through that, I got one more challenge for this thing that we're going to try out. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. It missed this one. Oh, it didn't miss it. It looks like it lost its trajectory and hit over here. Damn. <laughs> Dude, the arrowhead is like brand spanking new. Oh, never mind. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. You can still probably use that. But I the mean, fact you that it, something else, yeah. Yeah. The fact that it didn't break the arrow, I'm happy with. So what we're gonna try, we're gonna retry the cinder block challenge, but with this and see if we can get any kind of difference to happen rather than just making a hole. Let's see if we can actually crush it this time. Okay, so let's try it out. I've tried this before as I've showed you. It's made a hole in it. Let's see if we can actually get this thing to crack. Alright, here we go. You got the shield up, right? I got shields up. Okay, three, two, one. No, it did it again. Damn. <laughs> 
didn't break it. Damn it. It never does. Dude. One day we're going to do this. It was so close though. Wow. <laughs> One day there's going to be a broad head. I don't know how it's going to happen, but we are going to break through the cinder block and make the first ever arrow that can shoot through walls. All right. So we're going to get the impression on this one right here. Unfortunately, it could break the stone, but I want you guys to leave a comment down below. For those of you guys that are into archery, let me know if there's any way possible I can transform an arrow to have enough energy because it's not about the speed. There's nothing Thing they can shoot an arrow faster than this. It's about the integrity of the arrow, really. You see that barcode? Yep. I'm gonna hit it. Three, two, one. Oh, oh you hit it. It's the barcode. All right, so there is our entry right there. I gotta say, if, if any of the arrows we tried so far, this would be the most cataclysmic to the body. <laughs> Shot through the whole speed bag. Dude, these tips are it. Nothing in Rep Pack has ever, ever shot completely through the speed bag. That was like the fletching is away from going who knows where. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, look at that. It's like complete, it's the pyramid design. It's just shredded through everything. Yeah, thankfully the speed bag did do its job. We got a couple fences back here, so we're good. But wow, we were actually, I think this was the closest chance of breaking that cinder block though. If you could do this, we need this, the 200 grain. <laughs> But that's the imprint. Let's move on to the next one. I gotta say, my favorite thing about these are their names. Like Skull Shatterer, Cheap Shot, Meat Tracker. So, well, other than the last one, it sounds like like any gamer tag. Would be <laughs> Let's go get this next item out of here and see what it is. Oh my god, this thing's called Grave Digger. Grave Digger. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing looks just like the Winged Dragon of Raw again. Sure. Yeah. Yes, it does. That is insane, dude. So you have the regular, like the regular arrowhead, like typical, you know, look tip. But then on the side, you got the, the traction blades as well. Well, you can literally just grab any of the freaking any broadhead product, throw them all on the floor, and that's your new Pokemon set. <laughs> just <laughs> want to make a really, really awesome like metal band name. You got a bunch of broadhead brands, throw them all on the floor, pick up three. You got a metal band name for life. Cheap meat digger or cheap meat tracker. Yeah, or, <laughs> it's called a salesman. Or cheap beat meat. Yeah. <laughs> I think we also were saying the tracker wrong, and it's actually seeker. Oh, it's seeker. <laughs> yes, because we're seeker. all looking for deals. Yes, there you go. All right, so let's go outside and check these out. Cuts on contact. Let's find out for real. All right, so now we're trying out the Grave Digger. And I want to try, dude. I want to try and shoot it through the cap and see if I can hit the actual wine punch on the backside and hopefully it doesn't go through that. Todd, right, ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, three, two, one. That was impressive. That was sick. Obviously, it went through the full target, got the back guy as well, and flew into the freaking air mat. It's still in good shape. That's, Damn. That's a good, Jesus, that's a little bit intimidating. Yeah. Okay, let's check out the front though. Did I really just cleanly get it through there? Oh, there's a little slice over here. Oh my God. Yeah. It broke it. <laughs> it sliced straight through there. <laughs> Because I think the wings expand the circumference of it. Yeah, so I think it just slightly clawed the outside, but it worked. Dude, check the exit wound. Oh my. <laughs> it's like, that thing is, you can see right here how thick it is. Oh my God. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It tore through it. All right, I'm gonna say I like the Grave Digger a lot. Let's get that impression on it. All right, here we go. Let's get the impression. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna aim for the handle. All right. Three, two, one. All I gotta say is one thing, Patrick Star. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to aim for the handle, I didn't even hit it. I thought I skinned it or something, but no. Yeah, it looked like he just kind of went all arms, legs out, freaking into it. <laughs> now, we're gonna go to the last item, guys. Let's check it out. I know what the last item is, and it's by Cold Steel. And this is the one that I want to test out by far the most. All right, last item, guys. Man, check this out. Ow, it starts my stomach looking at it. What the <laughs> hell? That is the Cold Steel Buzzsaw. And this is actually what he used to kill that thing on the back of the box. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to say what it was, but that thing was cute. Yes, it wasn't. Let's just say it wasn't your run of the mill uh, dairy cow. It was like something with big horns and like that thick a hide. <laughs> Who thinks of this? Oh, well, never mind. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Lynn Thompson. Always leaving Grin Thompsons. <laughs> yes, leaving the Grin Thompsons. Always. <laughs> Look at this monster, though, dude. It comes in, hit point, serrated through. Look at those back corners that aren't coming out. And then all these jagged, every, every single jag is serrated. Back. Are you serious? Yes, all the individual jags. Oh, look, my God, yes. they are. The individual jags are also serrated. Do you know there's a level? <laughs> <laughs> it's been surpassed. Yeah, I feel like Lynn Thompson. 
Thompson so could take all of these shots and still be fine. All right, we're going outside this, the buzzsaw. I have been looking forward to these so much. So let's check out and see what kind of damage these disgusting monsters could possibly do. All right, guys, so now we are trying out this absolute rose thorn of an arrowhead. This thing would just be, I can't even imagine how you could get that out of you with this many jagged pieces. And based on the fact that it's plastic and the other one's broke, it's probably broken you. I think you just kind of learned to live with it. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what it's gonna do to these. Hopefully with the melon, we should be able to see the serration and what it actually does to the target. Three, two, one, buzzsaw. with for like absolutely nothing dude yeah i mean it was just but look at the cracks that it made and look at how pulverized the outside is oh, that's a thick melon all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this thing open and see if we can actually see the serration trail breathe 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 the baby's coming out baby's coming out come on come on push 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 <laughs> You can see it all right here. Did you see that extra line that right here as well? Oh yeah, you can see right here. Oh yeah, dude, it's literally just pulverized from the freaking buzzsaw, literally. And it actually didn't break, which I'm surprised about as well. All right, we're gonna try one more shot. Let's make sure this thing keeps its accuracy the entire time too. Dude, this is the exit hole. God. That is the back exit hole. This is like, again, I know we've used this example before. What when Garza used a Rasen God? No, 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 this, this is a different example. This is a urethra. This is a gaping ass. Oh. <laughs> What I'm going to be trying to do to make sure we can test the accuracy in this thing is I'm going to hit the bang. Or shout out to the bang bros. Dude, grab one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me go with the birthday cake bang. Yeah, bang bros. bros. All right. Yeah. So here we go. I'm going to try to aim for the bang target right here. I'm going to line all of those up. And I'm going to try to aim through the center target of every single bang. Three, two, one. Bang bros. Okay, so Jagged is not gonna help with this. <laughs> I also just did this one for fun, but you know, it seemed like I did a decent job. I mean, the fact that it lost the trajectory, that's not my fault. <laughs> it could be your fault. You don't know that. I'm thinking, and it's not. Okay. <laughs> the arrow is broken, but we have one more test. Let's try that out. All right, let's get the impression now. In three, two, one. They always say the first impression is what matters. I think we killed him. We sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed the freaking soda behind it somehow. But I think I would have got the soda if I hit it because it went through the table. So <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. All right. There's our impression. Let's check it out. Well, the arrow snapped. Oh, but Jesus, dude. Oh my god. That gaping hole. Well, actually, I think it would have done more. But look, it's on the reinforced part. Damn. And in the reinforced part. <laughs> there is perpetually going to be an arrowhead stuck in this table. It's That's right here. Do you see it? This little line. That is the arrowhead inside of there. <laughs> All right, let's do one last test. I think that should I think should give us our answers. Dude, I got every single one. <laughs> you got one right there. Two, three. Oh, <laughs> I oh think my that's God. all. That's all of them. <laughs> oh my. Alright, literally. Okay, Rap Pack, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. And check out this video on your screen right here, which is the last episode where we turned out a bunch of freaking ridiculous broadheads. I even found one that literally twists on the target on impact. So go check that out over here. I will see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I will see you, beautiful people, in the next one. Adios. Bloop.